Welcome back to Joyfully at Home. Today, since we're about midway through January, our thoughts are starting to uh, focus on Valentine's Day. And I have another very simple, easy fudd recipe that's great for Valentine's Day. Only a few ingredients similar to the peanut butter fudd recipe that I make. And this one you can modify to make it for Valentine's Day. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that today. So you're going to start off your fudge with three cups of vanilla chips. It can be any brand you like. These are Ghirardelli. I kind of like those. They have a nice sweetness to them, but not too much sweetness. You're going to take just a little pinch of salt in there. I'm going to take a 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk. Again, any brand you like. This substitutes any sugar that you'll need. This adds plenty of sweetness to the fudge. So you really only have about four ingredients to this fudge. Very simple, very easy. And then you can take either just a drop of almond extract, or you can also take vanilla extract, whichever you like better. The almond gives it just that little bit of almond flavor. You mix these up so you get your condensed milk kind of evenly in with your chips. And then you'll go ahead and you'll microwave this to start melting your chips. You want to be very careful with your white chips microwaving them. Go about 30 seconds at a time because they can burn. So you just go 30 seconds to 40 seconds at a time and keep stirring until you get a nice smooth consistency. Now that we have our chips all completely smooth, along with our condensed milk, you'll see it has a nice thick texture and a really nice smoothness to that. Now, what I tend to do, I'll take just a little bit of Wilton gel coloring. Now for this, I don't want to add a lot of color, so I'm just going to put in a little bit just to get it a little pink in there. And then you'll just take that coloring and you'll keep, you can leave it so it's swirled, you can make it completely pink, however you like. You can add red. If you like, there is a no taste Wilton uh, red coloring which is the best one to use. I think you still get a nice red color without that nasty taste of red coloring. And a lot of people are very sensitive to red coloring. So I tend to like to use the rose colored. Gives it a little bit of a pink color, but nothing too crazy. And it's okay if you've got a few little streaks of white in there, just kind of makes it look a little bit marbled. And then it's not a problem. It's however you like it to look. If you want it completely solid pink, you just keep stirring till you're completely pink. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our fudge mixture right into a prepared 8x8 pan. The way I prepare a pan is I will take a piece of aluminum foil, line it, and then lightly spray it with an oil spray of your choice. Gives it a little bit of a greased interior. That way your fudge doesn't stick and it's easier for cutting. You can just lift that foil right out of the pan and go ahead and cut it very easily. Now you'll spread your fudge into your greased and prepared pan smooth it out how you like and then we'll take some sprinkles i've got some little heart sprinkles here that we can just sprinkle onto the top to give it a fun look You can use anything you like, any kind of sprinkles you like, red and white jimmies, sugared crystals, anything you like to give it a fun little look on the top. 
once we have our fudge all decorated, you'll just put it in the refrigerator, allow it to set until it's nice and firm, and then we'll go ahead and we'll cut our treat. Like as I, you can put this in treat boxes, you can give it as gifts in little Valentine's tins, or you can just have it for every day.